Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Five rounds if needed for the UFC lightweight championship of the world. Nice move to punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes to that end. Early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear at the gas tank for a long time. All right, side control now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Close guard. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop them. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big punch land. And they separate. that nice body kick. Big kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. All of the guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Uppercut lands for him. Oh, is that a good right hand? A single follow ties. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie punch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. What a fun. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds left. Big punch from the clinch. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after and run the blade. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Hook there. Knee to the body. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Back to the feet now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, 
pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch from Andrew over the top. He gets to his spot, the tie clincher. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Big kick lands. Oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a He would be on his feet right now. level knockout ladies and gentlemen crowd absolutely loving it just a perfect shot to end the fight landed flush i'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming so a huge huge win for that young fighter here tonight all right let's get you some replays now certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every round of the game a full-on display of all of his skills he did everything in this championship winning performance he used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. This is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard, not letting anybody in. He's not trying to share this title reign. He wants to be the UFC champion for a long time, and with performances like this, it's hard to argue that anything is going to change.